Hello, and welcome to Lightwaves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Wubin Gecko E61. This is a multifunctional pen light. These are for sale on Amazon for total of $69.99, definitely a premium item. Watch for coupons. You can get this as low as $63 bucks or around $60. Definitely some competition in this space. Let's check it out. Wubin, light up your life. I think it says Gecko there. So yeah, definitely a premium item. Cool gift. So let's go ahead and slide this off. All right, so this is a box. I believe it's a magnetic closure. Yep, has everything in here for presentation. I like that. Let's go ahead and pop the pen out. Yeah, this thing is cool looking. All right, I'll set that aside. They give us little things here. So this looks like a box that holds a USB cable. Pull that out. This looks like it holds our accessories. And then we'll get this, uh, what is this here? Probably the directions manual. So we'll go ahead and close this up. Yeah, I like that. Really nice. Sweet. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at some of the things they gave us. I'm going to lower this down. Okay, let's bring in uh, Iron Man. <laughs> we'll bring the, we'll put the pen in here. It's cool. It's the star of the show. Um, so the things they give us, uh, the multifunctional pen light. Uh, yeah, we got some accessories for it. So let's go and open this up here. I think there's some refills for the pen. Uh, it's multifunctional, so it has different tips. Let's go ahead and show you those, and then we'll talk about them. Yeah, this is going to be fun to get out of here. They're really stuck in there pretty good. So let's just go ahead and push it through. There we are. Little Ziploc bag here. And let's see. So there's interchangeable tips. There's four of them. Uh, on the pen itself, you got the pen cartridge and then the zirconium bead. And then they give you extras. I'm just going to dump it, I guess, on the table here. Get them out. There we go. So we get a stylus tip. So this works really good with my iPad. I was using this. Great. Uh, if you're wearing gloves or you're outside, uh, this is really nice to have. So it's a conductive, uh, nice rubber coating, nice and soft there. Uh, you're able to use things like touch devices in the cold if you're wearing gloves. Um, there are refills. Um, there was an Amazon review where the guy was really upset about not being able to get these refills. I was a little concerned, so I called the company up or emailed them, actually, and asked, can I get these refills? And they said, yeah, not a problem. Just contact them. So if you run low on these, um, you can pick them up. These almost look like you could find a pen similar to this and just cut them down and you have your own. Maybe even maximize how much ink is in them. So something to think about. But yeah, they give four extra. They give you one in the pen and the light already. And then they give you what they call a uh, inkless pen. And what this is is like a nib that has like a real soft metal and it transfers that soft metal to the paper. We'll try to showcase that. All right, so that's neat. What else we get? <laughs> it's fun. It's like full surprises, little boxes of everything. Uh, here we got cable. I haven't used it because I have my own cables. Micro USB. Yay, I haven't seen one of those in a while. <laughs> yeah, I think I own stock in the company that makes these. Uh, but this is nice. Does it have their name on it? Yes, it does. Whooping. Yeah, loving that. You know, nice touch there. I like when they put their company logo on stuff like that. Uh, it shows a sign of quality and class. All right. The manual comes in a little box here. Again, this is just a really neat presentation uh, for their device. Really liking that. Let's see here, we got a little warranty card here, certificate. Oh, well, authenticity, that's what that is. So it gives a manufacturer date. Uh, so it was made in October of last year, 2020. There we are. And here's the instruction manual. It's real basic. We'll just flip through it really fast and we'll get to the light. Warnings. Doom. Just going to go ahead and just flip it. And you guys can look at it and pause it in case I missed something because I could. There's a lot of interesting functions with it. There you go. Boop. Breathing light. That's kind of cool. Lock, unlock, charging. Uh, it's pretty simple charging setup. Here we go. Battery capacity is a status, which is nice. There's our main specifications. Pause and read that if you need to. I'll go over it. And we're almost through this manual here. We got maintenance. Good to know there. Charge every three months. 
and uh, here's some abnormal stuff you gotta look for. And I think we're almost done with the book. Yes, almost done. Warranty policy, one year warranty, nice battery warranty. Well, that's a good thing. A lot of companies don't cover the batteries. That's good. Beyond warranty, uh, I guess you just give them a call. So that is it. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to the main subject right here. Go bring this way down, downtown. <laughs> okay, let's go over dimensions. Uh, we are five and five eighths of an inch in length or 143 millimeters. We have a width at the thickest part here of three quarters of an inch or 18 millimeters. And then we have a thickness of the pen uh, at seven sixteenths of an inch or 13 millimeters. So I'll give you an idea, probably up here, the thickest part. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Let's do a little size comparison. This is always fun. So I'm going to bring this back up. It's a little longer than I thought there. Okay. So what do I have? I have laying around. I have a Nikkor. Yeah, this is the, uh, what is this? The MT, uh, I can't remember. Oh, there it is. MT06MD. Pretty awesome pen light to give you an idea of her size of different pen lights. Here's a Streamlight Stylus Pro. So I could see you having these together, like backup lights to your uh, Wubin pen light. Yeah, definitely cool. So here we got a AA battery. And then I got a 18650. We'll just throw in there <laughs> for heck of it. Uh, as you know, there's a magnetic <laughs> attraction there. There's a magnetic base to this thing. It's awesome. And of course, then we got a little AAA light. There you go. AAA battery to give you an idea of her size. All right. Now, of course, some features. This thing has a lot of features. And let's just uh, quickly bring Iron Man back in the picture. We'll see him again, probably. Give you an idea for size. Yeah, this thing is pretty neat. I'm liking it a lot. All right, so that's the cards. And we're going to bring it back down and talk about features. Yeah, this thing's full of them. Uh, so right away, the build quality, uh, it's fairly decent. The one thing I have a problem with, uh, it, it might bother some people. It may not bother anybody else. If this is in your pocket most of the time, it'll probably be sitting snug. I don't think you're going to have an issue. But this light, the design, it opens up and it locks in a position, locks in this position, and it goes all the way to 70, which is really nice. But when it's setting inside here, it will it will rattle a little bit. It kind of wants to flip the, lift up a little, but then it goes back down. I think there's a magnet on this side too, because I noticed that it, it does attract on the inside also and on the back side. See that? So I think it pulls this light down. It's just not strong enough to hold it super tight, but it makes it easier to get the light out in action. So just want to let you know that if you're writing and you hear a little little rattle, it's it's your pen. It's just the light. Now if you're holding it normal, usually you're up here writing, you're actually holding the light in place. So you're not going to hear it as you're writing. So just something that uh, you should know. Uh, I contacted the company to say that's part of the design. They can't tighten this too tight up here because then it wouldn't swivel properly. So, all right. So, yeah, the whole thing's made of uh, aircraft grade aluminum, 6061. Um, looks like it's anodized finish. Definitely an awesome flashlight company is going to do that with their cool pen like this. Uh, we have a swivel front mechanism. This is the one that holds the tips. So, right in the front here, we have that cubic zirconium bead, or zirconium bead, they're calling it for self-defense and glass break. Um, I never used one before, so maybe you guys have. I've seen that in action. And if you want to change it, you just unscrew this. Then you can reach for, like, say, your stylus. And you can... This just threads in here. I'm doing it on a camera, so it's a little harder. But there you go. Now you got your stylus tip. So you can tap on that iPad. So then we take that back off. And I'm going to put, instead of that cubic zirconium bead, I'm going to put on that... Uh, inkless pen and we're going to try that out later here so there that's how that works just threads on and off very easy so it's like a soft metal i think is what that is so to get to the pen to get the pivot you have to pull it like that okay so it pulls this way towards the front and you swivels and then you push it in lock it into place and now we have our ballpoint pen again and changing the pen is pretty simple you just unscrew this and it'll give you access to the ink cartridge and the pen, so, I mean, the, the housing. <laughs> so there's that cool setup. I really like that. If I can get that into focus, yeah. Did I get that tight? Good. So yeah, there's the sides. You can see how they got special fittings there, tightening it up. Got this cool uh, pen clip, like in that all aluminum. Again, everything's all aluminum here. The backside, strong magnet uh, base there. 
our Cobb lighting system, as you saw there, is five LEDs in there. You got three whites, and you got a red and a blue, and we'll talk about those in a moment. Uh, here on the front, we have a switch with a W that does everything for the light. We'll pull the light up to show you again. There you go. Now we have a micro USB to charge the lights. There's a 120 milliamp hour battery on the inside. Uh, this is water rated at IP66. That's pretty good. That's can handle a rainstorm. You just want to, you don't want to throw it in a pool or dunk it. So, but a rainstorm, not a problem. I like that too. Uh, let's see anything else about the light itself. Okay, we're going to start talking about the light. So we'll go ahead and open this up. Now to turn it on, it's just a single click. And there we go, nice white light. And then to change the modes, just press and hold. And you got three light modes, which is really cool. Three lumen, 30 lumen, and 130 lumens. So there you go. Now if you want, you just click it, turn it off. If you want to access, there's a flasher mode. There's a red blue flasher. Um, you double click. Oh, I didn't double click, hold on a second. So this just goes red and blue like this. That's the only function it has. I'm hoping that uh, the company will just do a red flasher because in my country, uh, red and blue is typically police or law enforcement. So I think if I was using this to get attention, it would be the wrong attention. <laughs> um, so yeah, you definitely would want a red flasher typically. Uh, but this is good for law enforcement though. Who'd want this? So we'll go ahead and double click that. Okay, so now it remembers this mode. So if I click it, it'll go right back to the flasher mode. You gotta press and hold to get back to your white light. There you go. So we'll go ahead and flash that there. So yeah, that's pretty simple how that works. Okay, closing it back up. Um, you can add a breathing light, which is neat. So if I triple click, the W starts to glow. Yeah, it breathes. And it does this for five days in that little battery. So there's a five day standby. So this is to locate it in the dark um, when you need to have that crucial element of the light glowing. That's a pretty cool setup. I think that's neat. So we'll turn that off by triple clicking again. Okay. It also has a lockout, four clicks to lock out the flashlight. Pretty simple there. Uh, what else we got? Uh, so I talked about the waterproof one meter drop resistance. Nice. So let's go ahead and head to the garage where I took some pictures of this thing in action. It's always good to see what it can do. Let's go to the garage. This first picture, um, 15 feet away from the garage door, the light is on high. This is 130 lumens. Expect it to run for one minute, and then it'll throttle down to 40 lumens to protect the battery so it doesn't drain too quickly, and it'll run for 45 minutes at the 40 lumen setting. The highest setting, 130 lumens, will throw about 80 meters, 80, excuse me, 8 meters, 24 feet. <laughs> uh, next picture, medium. This is 30 lumens. You can expect this to run two and a half hours. This is actually a great setting. This medium uh, is perfect for this flashlight. This next picture we are on low. This is three lumens. You can barely make out the hardware on the door in the garage there if you look really close. Uh, this is uh, for really close quarter writing in the dark. This will work well. And this will give you a runtime of 15 hours. So if your eyes adjust to three lumens, this is perfect setting, especially close up like on a desk writing. In this last picture, I took a picture of the wheel on my car, about six feet away, the lights on high, 130 lumens. This is nice if somebody's holding the light for you while you're changing a tire. You can see you can do this with this light. Pretty neat setup. So back to the table. Uh, so the flashlight that uh, red and blue flashers, those are 10 lumens with a one meter throw, they say. So give you an idea for distance on that. But uh, yeah, for this cob lighting, it's not a bad setup. I do like how it's cut open in the back side here. So you can actually turn this light on and have it like this without having to remove the light out while you're writing. That's a good setup. So let's do this in action. Let's, uh, let's leave that going and let's bring in some paper. Yeah, let's write in the dark. <laughs> yeah, Todd Ebert's handwriting, right? <laughs> not very good. So I'm going to turn off some lights here and we're going to see how this does in the dark. So that's the main reason why you want one of these. So what I would do is I'd pick this up here. There we are. And then we could start writing with it. Let's just see here. Let me get the position here. Let's see how it works best for me. I'm trying to find a good angle. So it'd be like, you know, Todd rules. You get the idea? Maybe we'll do that in the dark. Um, pretty cool setup. And then you have, uh, let's bring Iron Man in. So then we have the different lights. Bring it up. Brightness. 
This is the highest. And I'm going to aim it up at the ceiling. And that's at the highest. I don't think it's lightening up the desk. So let's bring it about four feet above the desk. There we go. And we'll change it. There's low three lumens. So it lights up pretty well. Uh, you can see what's on the desk, which is nice. There's medium. And then high. There we are. So yeah, definitely a great light source for close quarters like this. And then, of course, we have our flasher. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Gotta love that. Okay, go ahead and turn that off. There we are. Yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and just give you an idea what another pen light would look like. Uh, let's see. I'll bring out the uh, night here. Let's turn it on. It's got, uh, I think, 180 lumens on high. So yeah, it's high. It's a little bit different. So we'll bring them in together. Now, again, remember, this is a dedicated pen light. Super bright. Let me just bring it down to medium. There we go. And it's got high CRI. And you can see how this is more of a cool white. And this is like more of a warm white. Cool, warm, cool. <laughs> but yeah, that's the night core. Now you can have these together, which I think would be cool for a doctor to have his eye inspection light and then his, his gecko handy. Yeah, definitely cool. The neat thing about this too is you can uh, put this against something metal and then you have yourself a floodlight for the room or wherever you're working. That's also a nice feature on the Wubin. All right, let's go ahead and turn the lights back on. And then I'm going to demo that uh, the inkless nib thing, which I thought was interesting. I never heard of that. So let me go ahead and turn this back on. And I'm sure a lot of you pen nuts know about that stuff. Let's go ahead and turn off the light. Okay, so it has that... Um, did I turn it? No, I didn't. Okay, so it has that inkless thing. So go ahead and pull that. Swivel it. And then let's see, what can I write? Let's see. Todd rules. Now it it's pretty faint. I thought it was like a light pencil at first, but it's actually let's see if I can bring this up here. It's actually like metal. Yeah, it's like a it's like this real soft metal it's leaving behind. Now it's not gonna last forever. You can see it's already wearing <laughs> a little bit off. See that? Um so it's it's dispersing. You can see it's like metallic. It's like a metallic crayon almost, <laughs> but it's a metal. Uh, pretty neat setup though. But yeah, just in case you run out of ink, you have that. And that's waterproof, of course. So definitely the way to go. Um, yeah, Todd rules. Gotta like that. Let me get rid of that. So let's go into some final thoughts on the Gecko E61. Um, what a premium item. Uh, for the guy who has everything, this is pretty neat. Um, I'm really digging it. I like the strong magnet. That's a pretty cool setup. Of course, when it's on a flatter surface, it'll hold. This is just demonstrating that it can hold a battery. <laughs> so it holds a double A. It holds a double A. I don't know if it'll hold an 18650. Let's find out. Oh, barely. But 18650 will hold the pen. <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, the other one thing that uh, was noticeable that uh, on a $69 pen was a little bit of looseness in the light. But again, the company reassured me that's normal and it won't cause any issue. So that's, again, for those who are really, you know, like, hey, man, it's got to be perfect. Like, no, you know, tight as can be, you know, no looseness. Um, then you may, this may, may not be for you. But for me, it's okay because, you know, a little bit of play isn't going to hurt anything. Sometimes it's a good thing. Um, so there you go. Okay, that unscrewed while I was writing. So keep that in mind as you write something. This might undo. So you may have to tighten that a little tighter. Okay. But yeah, I like how you can pull this forward, switch around. Got your ink mode, you're ready to rock. Having the lockout feature, having the lighting, this thing's just amazing. Loving having that. It's just so unique and different. That's what's fun about it. There we go. We'll go through the cycle. There it is. Okay, the Wubin Gecko E61. Hopefully you got a good presentation on what it can do and what it can't do. Uh, it does quite a bit, I think. Uh, but it is a premium item. And like again, there's a lot of... Uh, pens like this in the in that space but this one's a little different because i haven't seen one that does the full 270 you know it goes all the way back that's pretty cool you can light straight up light that on that's really nice when you got it on the magnet base going um that's very handy so this positioning light is probably its best selling point and of course being rechargeable uh but when the battery goes uh it might be replaceable you contact the company because it's got four screws here it looks like it's you can get access to the battery uh they might be able to replace it for you or maybe it's replaceable by us. I don't know. You'll have to check that out. So there it is. 
the Wubin Gecko E61. I like saying that. It's a cool name. Loving it. Yeah, it's my first uh, product from them. I'm really impressed. I'll be getting more of their flashlights. If you enjoy this brand and you want to see more, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified. If you like this pen and you really want to give it a go, um, I'll have links below. You could support the channel. They have a all oh, cool blue one, blue metallic, which I think is, looks amazing. The black, of course. Um, I always get black uh, just because it matches everything I have. Black this, black that. I got black everything, you know. But uh, yeah, it's a trend. I'm trying to go yellow, but uh, I don't see many yellow lights like this. But uh, definitely uh, help the channel out. It will, you know, I get like a what two two percent kickback from Amazon. They're great for that. Um, it keeps the channel rolling. I can buy more of these things uh, to showcase on the channel and give you guys an idea of what they do and how they work. And of course, I'm here for questions too. Just ask down below in the comments section uh, and let me know. Do you have something like this? Uh, do you like it? Do you have a different version? You want me to check it out? Um, different company or the same company, let me know if it's available. Uh, pretty much if it's on Amazon, it's easiest for me to buy from. I get a little leery on eBay sometimes, but uh, on Amazon, definitely let me know and I will pick it up for review. All right, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in my next video.